The hippocampus is a structure in the brain that is shaped like a seahorse. The hippocampus plays an important role in memory. The hippocampus derives its name from the word hippocamp, which in Greek means a combination of horse and monster, and is otherwise known as seahorse. The hippocamps were thought to draw Poseidon through the water and onto land on his chariot. Okay, good day everybody. So this is where the memory begins and the memory ends. We are talking of the hippocampus. So what we have done here is, we have approached the temporal lobe from the inferior aspect. And we are looking at the left temporal lobe, the inferior horn inside the left temporal lobe from the inferior aspect. This is the inferior horn where my finger is. And we can see after we have approached it, this structure that you see here, this is our hippocampus, the left side. The expanded anterior end is the pes hippocampus. This is the body of the hippocampus. And we can, if you follow it further, we can see it will be ending under the splenium of the corpus callosum here, where my forceps, where my probe is disappearing. This whole surface, this shiny thing that you see covering it, is actually the ependyma, which is forming the lining of the inferior horn. And just under that ependyma, we have the alveus, which is nothing but a thin sheet of white matter. And we have already learned that the thin sheet of white matter, of, that's the alveus, will converge medially. And this converging medial fibers, which we can see here, these converging medial fibers, these converging medial fibers, they constitute the fimbriae. And if you were to follow my probe further, this fimbriae continues up, up, it continues up, and it becomes the crust of the fornix. As you can see, my probe is picking it up. My probe is picking up the crust of the fornix. So this is the crust of the fornix formed by the curving fibers of the alveus. So alveus, fimbriae, crust of the fornix. Hippocampus, head, body, tail, fimbriae, all of it situated in relation to the floor of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. Now what I'm going to do is, I will make a small transverse section through the hippocampus. Let me reiterate the parts again, just for the sake of completion. The pes hippocampus, the expanded anterior end of the head of the hippocampus. 
the body of the hippocampus which forms the floor of the inferior horn and the tail of the hippocampus which ends under the splenium. These fibers on the medial aspect are the fimbriae and the fimbriae continues as the posterior, or the posterior limb or the crux of the fornix which I have picked up with my probe here. Now let me make a transverse section. When I say transverse section, actually what I mean is, in effect, it is a coronal section through the brain. So let me make a, a coronal section just to see all the structures and you will see the seahorse appearance. I have made a coronal section and we can see that this is the section of the hippocampus. This is a section through the hippocampus, the two sections. The gray matter is buried inside. It Normally the gray matter is supposed to be outside but here the gray matter is inside and this is the gray matter of the hippocampus. On the medial side, this is the dentate. On the medial side, is the dentate gyrus. This is the dentate gyrus, this serrated appearance. This is the dentate gyrus, which is situated on the medial side of the hippocampus. So the dentate gyrus is situated between the fimbrio dentate sulcus and the hippocampal sulcus. That is the dentate gyrus. So this is all that we can see of the hippocampus at this stage. Now let me try to dissect out the full course of the fornix from this side. What I try to do now is, I will trace the phonix all the way from here. This is, I am tracing the fornix. This is, so to please follow me, this is the fimbria forming the crust of the fornix and we can see it is coming here as the body of the fornix. There we go. This is the fornix. And this is how it curves all the way from there and it comes up here and it will continue and it will go all the way around and end here in the mammillary body here. So this is the fornix. Let's trace it again. Let's trace the same thing again all the way from the hippocampus. Fimbriae. Posterior column. I am changing the location now. Posterior column, uniting with the opposite side to form the body of the fornix. And this body of the fornix will curve around like this and it will go around and it will go behind the anterior commissure and end in the mammillary body here as the mammillothalamic tract. So this is the fornix. So this is the left side which is coming down. So this is all we can see of the hippocampus. what we had where we had left off this is the fimbriae the fimbriae is continuing up as the posterior column or the crust of the fornix it winds around this this is the pulvinar of the thalamus it winds around the pulvinar of the thalamus and here it meets with the opposite side and it forms the body of the fornix and this body of the fornix then continues under this corpus callosum here and here this is the body of the fornix which will continue down and it will merge in the lateral wall of the third ventricle 
and it will end in the mammillary body here and this is the one which contains the hippocampo mammillary tract so we can see it much more clearly in this view now so okay that is the end of our demonstration for this